I have good news. We're not going to learn anything new in this lecture. Well, what we're going to do is use what we already know about unsigned binary and, well, move the curtain, reveal the curtain. We have, well, we've been doing things like, let's see, 0, 1, 1, oh, well, hey, whatever. All right, so I've got a binary number up there, unsigned binary. And so this is the ones place, the twos place, the fours place, the eight, 16, 32, 64, 128. All right. And so in order to calculate what this, what integer in decimal this represents, all we do is add 128 to, to 32, 160, plus 16, 176, plus 4, 180. Now, here comes the curtain reveal, right? We've got a point there. Now in decimal, you're used to having a point, right? You're used to having a point and everything that goes to the left of that is increasing powers of 10. So you have the 10 to the zero place, one, 10 to the one place, 10, 10 to the two place, hundreds, 10 to the three place, thousands, and so on, right? Well, what happens when we go to the right of the decimal point? Well, when we go to the right, you get descending powers of 10. So 10 to the negative one, one tenth, 10 to the negative two, one over 10 to the two or one one hundredth, 10 to the negative three, one thousandth, 10 to the negative four, one ten thousandth, and so on. Same thing happens here whenever we're talking about binary. This position right here is the, well, we're going we'll to go ahead and write this in, in the powers of 2. So this is 2 to the negative 1. So we'll put a 1 there, right? Uh, maybe a 0, 1, 1, 0. So this position right here is 2 to the negative 2, 2 to the negative 3, 2 to the negative 4, 2 to the negative 5, and so on. So what does that mean whenever it comes to computing what this equals? Well, we've already shown that this is equal to 180. What is this portion equal to? Well, one, there's a one in the position for two to the negative one, which is one half, right? And then there's also a one in the two to the negative three position, or one over two to the three, one eighth. Then there's also a two to the negative fourth position with a one in it, that's one sixteenth. So it turns out that this is equal to 180 plus one half plus one eighth plus one sixteenth, which is equal to, well, let's see, we've got uh, two sixteenths there and eight sixteenths there, so it's 11 sixteenths. So it's 180 and 11 sixteenths, right? Now, what about going the other way? And before we do this, let's go ahead and we're just gonna go and make a, let's make one of my little weird rectangle things here, except this time we're gonna put a point in it. I'm gonna put a point right there, all right? Which means everything to the left is going to be increasing powers of two. So this is the ones place, the twos place, the fours place, the eighths place. So the largest value we can represent with those digits is 15. Now we're gonna go the other way. So this is one half or 0.5. This is one quarter or 0.25. This is one eighth, 0 0.125. And this is one sixteenth or 0 0.0625. All right. Now, let's go ahead and make a conversion. Let's see, how about doing, uh, let's just do something simple like 3.5. Now, whenever we did this in unsigned binary, the process was quite simple. We figured out what the largest power of 2 was that we could take out of the number we were trying to convert. So the largest power of 2 we've got out of 3.5 is 2. So we put a 1 in that position, which means there's 0 eighths and 0 fours. We'll pull out a 2, we're left with 1.5. All right. Next largest power of 2 is equal to 1. So we pull out a 1, and we're left with 0 0.5, all right? Next highest power of 2, 0 0.5, we put a 1 there, that pulls out a 0 0.5, we've got 0, so all the rest of these positions are just equal to 0. Great, so 3.5 in binary is equal to 11.1, all right? Well, that sort of works, except... We do have a little bit of a problem here. In fact, let me go ahead and erase this a bit, give us some room to work with. All right. 
let's do another conversion. And I'm going to also do uh, that same little diagram here. So we've got a point here, which means this is the ones place, the twos place, the fours place, the eighths place. And let's go south a little bit. So this is 0 0.5, this is 0 0.25, this is 0 0.125, this is 0 0.0625. All right, this time let's do 5.3. All right, now if we do 5.3, what we do is we find the largest power of 2 less than equal to 5.3. Well, there's a 4 in it, so we pull a 4 out. That gives us, what, 1.3? All right. Now, what's next? Well, we can pull a 1 out, right? And that puts zeros in the 8th position, zeros in the 2 position, which actually kind of works out, right? 4 plus 1, we already know that 0, 1, 0, 1 is, uh, is, a, is a decimal 5, which is equal to what our integer portion of this fraction is. So we pull out a 1, all right? And by pulling out a 1, we get 0 0.3, all right? Now, what's the next largest power of 2? Well, the next largest power of 2 is not 5, so we, 0.5, excuse me, so we put a 0 there. It is, however, 0.25, so we pull out a 0.25, and we get 0 0.05, all right? All right? What's the next largest power of 2? Well, turns out that 0.125 is too big. 0.0625 is too big, so there are the zeros in that those positions. Well, let's extend this a little bit then. How about 0, 0.0, what is that, 3125? All right. Yeah, we can pull one of those out. So minus 0, 0.03125, and so this becomes what? Um, how about, uh, let's see, what is that, 5, 7, 8, 1, 0 point, there we go. So it's 0 0.01875. We're still not to 0. And that's the goal whenever we're converting from decimal to binary, right? We keep pulling these powers of 2 out until we get a 0 value there, right? Well, I guess we need to extend this. Get another digit here. How about 0, 0.0, what is that, 15625? Is that big enough? Yeah, we can, we can do it. So we pull a, we put a 1 there, and that means we can take this 0, 0.01875 and pull out a 0, 0.015625, all right? So this becomes 2513000.0, okay? We're getting closer to zero, but we ain't gonna get there yet. Now I know some of you are optimists. You have faith that if we keep doing this long enough, eventually that'll get to zero. Nope, won't. Basically, we can keep pulling out those powers of two. This is going to go on infinitum. Um, for example, I mean, you're familiar with doing one-third, right? One-third in decimal is 0 0.33333, and it keeps going, right? Well, this is the situation we've got here. But we're so used to having, you know, this 5.3, I mean, that's a fixed number of digits. Problem is, is when you move to base 2, you don't have that fixed number of digits. We can show this with this simple JavaScript. This simple JavaScript asks me to print out the value of a floating point value, and whenever it tries to display it, you can see that, well, we lost a little bit of resolution. Sure, it's close, but not quite close enough. So, many of our decimal fixed point values are going to have this problem where we can't actually completely resolve it into binary.